I, okay, so here's my procedure for, what experiment is this? Experiment 10. Um, so to start out, I have a part zero where we're going to fill a test tube or use a burette to fill a test tube with 10.00 milliliters of water. And we're going to draw a line with a grease pencil so that we can calibrate three test tubes later for part two. And then you can carry that line over onto your other two test tubes so that you have the exact same amount so that you could fill to a 10.00 milliliter line and be able to get those decimal places. So going back to part one, you're going to obtain two burettes. You're going to rinse each burette with its respective solution, make, making sure to rinse the sides and that when you fill it that there are no air bubbles. Um, using the burettes, we're going to fill, or using a 50.00 milliliter volumetric flask, we're going to use the burettes to fill and create our standard solutions based on the amounts of liquid that are given, or the amounts of aqueous solution that are given in table one. So for standard solution one, you're going to have five milliliters of the 0.2 uh, molar iron solution, and then 2.00 milliliters of the 0 0.002 molar SCN, I don't remember what that's called. <laughs> Um, and you're going to do that respectively for each of the standard solutions. Um, and then after you make your solution in the 50 milliliter volumetric flask, you will have like, for example, in standard solution one, you'll have seven milliliters. So you'll fill the rest of it to the 50 milliliter volume or 50 milliliter line and then dump it out into other glassware, like, um, a beaker or something so that you can store those. And we'll be using these to measure the absor we'll be measuring the absorbance of these. So you want to start by blanking your spectrometer with a solution made of five milliliters of the iron solution, and then filling that also to the 50 milliliter line in the volumetric flask. And to use the spectrometer, you'll have to use a cuvette. So to use a cuvette, you rinse it with the solution that you're about to be measuring. So you fill it in, dump it out, and then fill three quarters full in the cuvette, making sure not to touch the sides that are non-textured, the clear sides. And you can use that to blank the solution in the spectrometer. And then you will do respectively the same thing as talked about before with the three quarters full for the rest of your solutions. Um, using this information, you'll make a Beer's Law standard curve of concentration versus absorption. And then for part two, we'll be creating three solutions in the test tube that we talked about before. Um, so we're going to be filling one of the burettes with 0, .0 um, with the 0 .002 molar iron solution. So that's different than before. And you'll be using the same 0 0.002 molar SCN solution that we had in the burette originally. Um, so similar to before, you'll be adding the respective amounts that are given. Or don't forget to, oh, I have this here. Don't forget to rinse your burette when you put the new solution in. Um, and following in table two, you'll be using the respective amounts that are given it to make like test tube A, B, and C. And for your water amounts, what you want to do is use deionized water to fill to the 10 milliliter line. And that's how, so like in test tube A, we have four milliliters and two milliliters. And so that makes six milliliters. So you fill the other four milliliters with water. And they should all be the same 10.00 milliliters because we had marked them off previously. Um, using the protocol that was described before with the cuvettes, you're going to measure the absorbance of absorbance of each of the solutions that you made in the test tubes and then um, record those and use that to make um, oh yeah you record those in the table below table two and that's it awesome thank you